Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at MPLS VPNs. Specifically within MPLS VPNs in this lab, we are going to be configuring BGP, Border Gateway Protocol, as the routing protocol from the provider edge to the customer edge. In this diagram, router 4 and router 3 are at the provider edge and router 6 and router 5 are at the customer edge. Routers 1 and 2 are in the MPLS backbone and we will not be configuring any protocols on them except for MPLS and of course the interior gateway protocol for our service provider. So what we will do is we will get started we will configure the interior gateway protocol for the service provider's network first. So we can choose any IGP that we want. We'll go into, let's see, we'll go into R4 first. And what we're going to do on R4, we are going to run EIGRP as the IGP for the service provider network. So we'll do on R4, we'll do a show IP interface brief. We'll go under global configuration mode and do router EIGRP for autonomous system 1. And we are going to put in the network statement for 192.168.14.4. with the all zeros, the host mask. Then we're going to do the network 4.4.4.4 for the loopback. So we're going to use this for MPLS for the label distribution protocol. We're going to be using the loopbacks for the router IDs for LDP or for the label distribution protocol to run across. So let's go ahead and configure R3, which is the other provider edge router. If I do a show IP interface brief, we are going to run router EIGRP autonomous system 1. And we're going to advertise these networks into EIGRP, which is our 23.3 with the host mask of all zeros and also network 3.3.3.3 with the host mask. So what this is going to do, it has to match this IP address specifically to be put into the EIGRP routing protocol. So it has to be an exact match on the IP with this subnet mask. So now that router 3 and 4 are configured with the IGP of the ISP, let's go on R2 and do a show IP interface brief. We're going to put both fast ethernets, actually we're going to put all these interfaces into the IGP for the service provider. So we're going to go under router EIGRP1, again that's AS1, and we're going to do our network statements for these directly connected interfaces. So we have the 12.2, the 23.2, and the loopback, which is the 2 network. So before we verify that we have full IP reachability with our, inside of our EIGRP domain, we're going to go into R, R1 and get it configured. And then we're going to go ahead and enable BGP on the routers and get our MPLS network up and running. So this is just the first step is building our IGP because MPLS rides over our interior gateway protocol. Again it's layer 2.5 and it makes its decisions for its labels based on the best path through the interior gateway protocol or the IGP network. 
So let's go into router EIGRP AS1 on R1. And we're going to advertise all our interfaces on this router as well. This is the backbone, one of the backbone routers. So again, if I go to, if we are looking at our IGP within our service provider network, it looks, it is router 1, router 2, router 3, and router 4. We just enabled on EIGRP on between R4 and R1, between R1 to R2.